Hi YouTube, this is just going to be a really short video about how I made a devilish imp. So I started off with this drawing and I did these wire frames. Then I bulked out the wire frames with aluminium foil. This just saves money on materials. Then I covered it all with Super Sculpey, um, which you bake in the oven. And this was what I started with. But everybody was saying he was looking a bit like Dobby from Harry Potter. So I decided to change him. I decided to shorten the nose and um, shorten the ears and just change the shape of his face. So this is what I ended up with. Um, you can see I've added quite a lot of um, spines and things. These were just leftover teeth from other sculpts. And I also did lots of kind of pitting um, to give a sort of a textured effect. Um, then... I baked them in the oven. Um, Super Sculpey, you cook in the oven, so I had to coat the base like this with, a, with aluminium foil because the base is wood, so I didn't want it catching fire or anything in the oven. Um, and then after he was baked, he just looked like this, so he didn't really look any different, but he's all hardened now and ready to paint. So I normally start with black when I'm painting. I normally paint the whole thing black, and then I can build up the colours from there. But you can see when I first painted in black, it, you can't see any of the details on him at all. He's just like a sort of a, almost like a silhouette. Um, but it's a good base. It just means that you get shadow into all the dark areas. Right, then I decided to paint in various shades of blue, getting lighter and lighter. This is what I ended up with. And I did really like him in blue, and I almost left him like this. But I thought, he's not looking sort of devilish enough. And I really like the um, little devils from... Jim Henson's Storyteller, for example, and they, they're really kind of creepy looking, and I wanted him to look like that, a bit more sort of mischievous and creepy looking, and a bit more sort of typically like a kind of devil. So I was going in with red, and again, I, I used two different reds, um, more of a crimson red to start with, and then a much brighter red on top of that, and this is what I've ended up with, and I really like him. I left all the teeth and the... Um, horns and spikes and everything blue and I think that works really well and also you can see little flecks of um, kind of blue coming through the red and I think that's really nice as well it gives it a sort of a, a completely different look to anything else I've seen before I've done lots of other sculpts especially of like 80s movie creatures and that sort of thing things from horror movies um, so check those out uh, click on a link at the end of this to see another video that I've done or click on my face I'm the one that doesn't look like a little imp <laughs> and uh, You can subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next video